Sidewalk and road salt are crucial this time of year, getting rid of the ice and giving you a little traction outside. But what makes that stuff work? The Valley Today's Professor John Trewiler is live with the NDSU chemist this morning, breaking down exactly what goes into salt. And John, how are your experiments going? They're going very well, Kyle, actually. We just uh, pulled out some uh, ice samples here. We had in the freezer for about 30 minutes, and we had some, some salt in each one. And uh, Dr. Ganesh Bala here with us again. Ganesh, uh, tell us what we've got here from uh, our salt number one and uh, kind of what we've seen it do. Uh, so the salt number one, you could see it has uh, pretty much uh, dissolved all the ice on the top. And uh, still you can see the chunks of ice on the bottom, uh, which is potassium chloride. And uh, here we have the calcium chloride. And uh, it has gone deep inside the layers of ice, as you can see from here. And uh, it pretty much melted all the bottom, and you have some surface ice left. And uh, here, which is, again, uh, calcium chloride pellets, you can see, again, the, all the pellets have uh, gone deep inside and melted some water, and you have some chunks of ice left in the top. And uh, since this is a control experiment, and this is huge chunks of ice, we could, we could see totally different phenomenon outside. We've got some stuff outside, too, to make sure we're, we're doing everything right. But we want to show you how powerful these calcium chloride pellets are. And we've got another sheet of ice here. And we'll just sprinkle some of this on here. And uh, right away, you can start to see it digging into the ice and starting to melt and head down. Isn't that right, Ganesh? That is very true. And as um, so you can see, um, as John said, you can see these pellets are starting to get down into the layers of ice and uh, starting to melt around the Ice. <clears throat> One main um, uh, characteristic of uh, calcium chloride, it, it is a hygroscopic solid, and it absorbs the moisture from air, and it uh, releases some heat to that, and that also helps in melting the ice. Very powerful stuff. You can see all just in a matter of seconds, already taking, a, uh, taking, uh, taking away at that block of ice, Kyle. Uh, coming up here, when we see it back here in just a little bit, we're going to break down some of these chemicals, go into what exactly is in uh, this salt. Guys? Pretty amazing how quickly that can work. All right, John Treeweiler reporting live from the NDSU Chemistry Department for us this morning. It's estimated that around 11 million tons of salt is dumped on our roads every year across the U.S. And this morning we've been putting some of that salt to the test. The Valley Today's John Treeweiler is live at the NDSU Chemistry Department this morning where they've been testing it all morning. Good morning, John. Well, good morning, Lisa. Yeah, we want to show you some of the tests we've been working on here. Uh, Ganesh Bala here with us this morning. And uh, we're really kind of breaking down what's in the salt here with our different samples. And let's get right into it. We've got our sample one here that's claiming to be some potassium chloride, right? That's true. And uh, what we're going to do now is uh, this is a standard sample of potassium chloride, as you can see. And uh, the potassium ion should give a pink flame on this uh, flame test and uh, pinkish lilac, you could say. And uh, this is the pure sample, and you could see that flame and uh, beautifully with that pure sample. And uh, now we're going to uh, do with that uh, a sample, which claims that uh, it contains potassium chloride. And you can see that it is more orangish flame. Um, and uh, what um, most commonly uh, people do with this uh, uh, common salts is that um, they mix it with a lot of silicates. And the silicates are to avoid the corrosion on the cements. Um, so let's uh, move on to the next okay, sample. So we've got this. This, uh, this is the this is the calcium chloride, right? That's right. That's right. And uh, that should give us a brick red flame, and uh, it claims to be pure calcium chloride, and it is pure. And we can tell that by the color flame. And Lisa, we want to show you again how powerful that stuff is. We've got remember our sample here, and you can see the some of the different holes that are inside that ice there as it's really starting to melt, getting a lot of water out there. This is almost popping out of its mold, and you can just see how the calcium chloride just ate right through that ice and just kind of dug its way in and started melting it. Some powerful stuff, some really neat, cool experiments, well, as we kind of find out which salt works best for you this morning, Lisa. All right, sounds great. Good to know. You don't want to waste your money when you're out, uh, you know, shopping for some salt. John Treeweiler reporting live for us this morning. Thank you. We are putting road salt to the test this morning, finding out what seems to work best in our frigidly cold winter weather. Yeah, the Valley Today's John Treeweiler is live at the NDSU Chemistry Department, where they've been putting salt to the test all morning. Hi, John. Well, good morning, Kyle and Lacey. You know, I traded in my lab coat uh, for, of course, a real coat because it's cold out here. But Ganesh Bala here, come on over, Ganesh, and uh, explain to us what we've done. We put out several samples here outside 
So it's not in a controlled environment. We've got our uh, thermometer. We can see it's below zero out, but yet this salt is still working, still working up to its promise of working below zero, isn't it? That's very true, uh, John. So first we can see the calcium chloride mixture. Uh, it worked pretty good and uh, it, have, uh, it has uh, removed some ice here. And as we can move here, this is the pure calcium chloride. And uh, what it has done, as you can see, it has gone deep inside and like we, well, like we have seen inside and uh, it has removed most of the ice. And uh, here we have the potassium chloride and it also has done its own job. Um, but with this, with this temperature right now, the calcium chloride seemed to work pretty good. And important too, not only does it work good, but also it, it can be damaging to concrete. So don't like overload your driveway with it, right? That's very true, John. Uh, all of these salts will damage your concrete. And uh, they have some additives to prevent it, but uh, never overload your driveway with the salts. Okay, perfect. Well, Kyle, Lisa, lots learned this morning. Great tips, great advice. As uh, Hopefully we melt some ice out there and uh, stay safe uh, this winter, guys. Yeah, because we really do still have a lot of ice. We got that rain before this cold snap yep. and just haven't been able to get rid of it. John Treeweiler reporting live for us this morning. Thanks, John.